Good morning, people watching my 65 Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. That Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day, according to scripture. That's the gospel. That's how you're saved. That's how you kept saved. There's no other way. Except through the gospel, through the blood of Jesus. It is grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, lest any man should boast. It is grace that God gave his only begotten son to whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. That's the simple gospel. We are saved by grace through faith in Christ alone. It is grace that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. That's the gospel. The key word is believe. Once you believe, you've accepted Christ as Savior and you've accepted the gift of grace. The Holy Spirit indwells in you. We are all sinners in need of a Savior. It's only one, and that's Jesus Christ. And we accept what he did at the cross. Period. That's the simple gospel. It's all by the blood. The Holy Spirit indwells in you, leads you into all righteousness, guides you, talks to you, and changes you. That is the Holy Spirit. That's what the Holy Spirit does. And like I said, there is no other way to come to Christ except by believing. No other way. Once you accept Christ as Savior, you will never lose your salvation. You are sealed until the day of redemption. Period. I told you last night there's a shifting going on. It's like the ground, it's like the Lord is preparing the ground. A lot of people complain about nothing's growing. It's like the Lord is preparing the ground and the atmosphere for the tribulation. That's what I picked up. I got this article off of Counterfeit News Network, CNN. It says Lake Mead at the Hoover Dam to reach lowest water level in decades. It says a crippling drought. The crippling drought in the U.S., in the western U.S., is dropping the water level at Lake Mead and the Hoover Dam to an historically low level, putting pressure on the region's drinking water and electrical capability. Yeah. This is serious. It says, by Thursday, Lake Mead's water level is expected to sink to the lowest it's been since the filling during construction of the Hoover Dam. We know how long ago that was. According to the Bureau of Rec uh, Reclamation, spokeswoman Patricia Aaron, Lake Mead will most likely hit elevation 1,071.61 feet on Thursday. That will match the previous lowest elevation on record since the 1930s. Lake Mead and Hoover Dam straddle the Arizona-Nevada state line along the Colorado River, about 35 miles southeast of Las Vegas. The river provides drinking water to Arizona, Nevada, and parts of uh, Mexico. The dam generates electricity for parts of Arizona, California, and Nevada. While the lake's water level is expected to reach a new low, Thursday this week it won't be the bottom we anticipate the elevation of Lake Mead to continue to decline all the way through November of this year this is what's happening right now 
the atmosphere is changing. There was an eclipse this morning. A ring of fire. The at, it's, it's like the atmosphere. It's like God is changing the atmosphere to prepare it for the tribulation that's coming in. The Hoover Dam at, and Lake Mead on Thursday, a high water mark or bathtub ring is visible on the shoreline. And you can see it. I'm going to link the article in the description box. It says, parts of the west and the inner mountain west have been in near continual drought conditions for decades. The inner mountain west is the area between the Rocky Mountains and the Cascade Mountains in the Pacific Northwest and the Sahara Nevada Mountains in California. Been there. Beautiful. Some years are better than others and not in all places at all times, but the region has never fully recovered enough rainfall and snowfall to erase the uh, deficit. This is bad. And it's going to continue to get worse. This is why. When I felt what I felt yesterday, and reading this article and other articles, it's like the Lord is preparing the earth and the atmosphere for the coming tribulation. And that's what's happening. This is no surprise, but yet it's very serious. Because after the rapture, the droughts, the droughts are getting worse now, but after the rapture, water is going to be a luxury. Food is going to be a luxury. That's how bad it's going to be. Because like I said yesterday, this shift that's going on on the atmosphere, nothing's hardly growing. And that's what I was, that's what I see. There were birds flying in my, uh, uh, one of my son's rooms, in his bedroom. He said he don't hear them no more. And it could be because our cat, Delilah, scared him away, but I, I don't think so. Then the birds are not going to be that scared of a cat. So things are happening, and you need to take note of it because it's worth taking note of. It's time to look up. Um, and watch for the Lord. Let me tell you what else. Uh, let me see. I'll get into these um, articles later. I'm going to link them into my uh, blog. But it's time to look up and just... I've Someone was telling me that uh, other channels are telling people to... Um, pray that you escape to be worthy. Pray that you're worthy enough to escape. What, you, what they don't understand is that no one is worthy. That's why the Lord shed his blood at Calvary. And that's why the only requirement for salvation is believing. Once you accept Christ as Savior, you're counted worthy. And that's the only time. That you're counted worthy. You're already counted worthy by believing. That salvation, and that's the, the believing is the only requirement for salvation. Again, it's very simple. I'll be back later with the next video. I have articles in my blog that you are going to want to look at. And, um, 
things are coming to an end as we speak. I will be back with the next video. Thank you.